the 2021 financial year saw us contend with the effects of COVID-19 pandemic while working on the delivery of our strategic company objectives. Despite these challenges, we delivered a record financial performance in 2021, driven by higher margins due to a higher RAND PGM basket price and higher sales volumes. We are confident that these results continue to position us as an industry leader that is committed to our purpose to reimagine mining to improve people's lives, not only through the everyday business of mining, but more importantly, through the extent to which we create value for all our stakeholders. This begins with safe production. For the 2021 year, our commitment to zero harm resulted in no work-related fatalities at our own managed operations, as well as our joint venture, Mudikwa. This is only the second time in our history that we have achieved this milestone at our managed operations. The previous period was in 2019. Operationally, our strong production performance saw PGM production increasing by 13% and refined production increasing by 89% to a record of over 5 million ounces. This was also thanks to the stability of the ACP converter plant and a consistent performance across our processing operations. The strong operational performance leading to higher sales and supported by strong prices for our metals helped us to deliver an EBITDA of 108 billion rand and cash from operations of 124 billion rand. We also have continued our disciplined approach to capital investment and achieved an excellent return on capital employed of 183%. Our strong financial performance has also allowed us to continue playing a vital role to help protect lives and livelihoods during the pandemic. Through our We Care program, we sought to respond to the challenges and vulnerabilities our employees and host communities endured as a result of COVID-19, and an additional 400 million rand in funding was allocated to assist with the impact of the virus, as well as the social unrest we've seen in South Africa. In total, we have been able to make an economic contribution of almost 150 billion rand to our stakeholders the broader society and the economy through the payment of salaries and wages, procurement from our local suppliers, taxes and royalties of 35 billion rand, capital investments at our assets, developing community projects and the payment of dividends. What is more important is the impact you as an Anglo-American Platinum colleague had on the work we do. When dealing with the COVID-19, our strict health and safety protocols and vaccination programs help to protect our employees, our contractors and our host communities. The safety of our people remains our highest priority. We continue to prioritise vaccination through education in an effort to protect all our people from future mutations of the virus. This is just one of the ways we are committed to doing better. We are well aware of the gender-based violence and harassment issues in our industry and all over the world, and the important work we have to do in our sphere of influence as an organisation. Some of our focus areas include combating gender-based violence in our homes, schools and places of work. Examples of these are the promotion of the importance of financial literacy through our Nkululeku Financial Wellness Programme and working with young girls in our host communities through the Lighting Tomorrow Programme. This programme helps to empower young girls to become the responsible citizens of tomorrow. By ensuring that inclusion and diversity are central to the work that we do, our employees can bring their whole selves to the workplace. Through these initiatives and others, we are committed to doing better. We are also proud to have retained our position on the 2022 Bloomberg Gender Equality Index, which is an important acknowledgement of the gender mainstreaming work throughout our organisation and we have taken strides in addressing organisational effectiveness in creating simplicity with well-defined work and defining clear accountabilities. We've made inroads in our culture in action execution, acknowledging that culture is what drives people and is at the core of our success to deliver our strategy. 
It defines our intentional journey towards our desired company culture that is led by our purpose, driven by our values and characterised by high performance. In line with our strategy to be a leader in ESG, we have established a roadmap to reach 30% reduction in scope 1 and 2 emissions by 2030, aligned with Anglo-American Sustainable Mining Plan commitment, as well as to getting to carbon neutrality at all our operations by 2040. Let's take a closer look at individual mine performance. Mohalakwena Mine invested 800 million rand in operating and capital expenditure for the period. This include the full-scale bulk ore sorting and coarse particle road recovery plants, which has commenced pilot testing. Perhaps the most exciting development will be the launch of the hydrogen-powered fuel cell mining haul truck, part of our new gen zero emissions haulage project. Similarly, Amandelbult continues its journey to become a modernised mining operation that is safer and healthier than conventional mining. The modernisation programme, based around the pillars of safety, production and simplification, continues to progress with several initiatives completed and fully embedded during 2021. These include rock stop nets and lights, rock movement monitoring and the conversion of Deshaba to a fully timberless mine. The Mototolo de Brochen Life Extension projects was also approved, delivering on our strategic priority of maximising value from our core portfolio of assets. By utilising the existing Mototolo infrastructure and enabling mining to extend into the De Brochen resource, the life of the asset will be extended by beyond 30 years, allowing us to protect jobs and extend production at the bottom half of the cost curve. Taking into account the strength of our balance sheet, the support we continue to provide to employees and host communities to limit the impact of the pandemic, and the discretionary capital options available, the board believes the company is well positioned to manage the risk that remain to the global economic recovery. As a result, a final dividend of 125 Rand per share was declared bringing the total dividend for the year to 300 Rand per share, equating to a 100% payout of headline earnings and an industry-leading dividend yield. Our market development efforts will continue to support the discovery of new applications for the precious metals we mine, as well as to support our established demand segments like jewellery. And we are particularly excited about the role PGMs play in hydrogen technologies. A critical component of enabling the decarbonisation of energy and transport in particular. In 2020, we adapted our strategy setting process to a more dynamic and agile process, allowing ourselves to proactively adapt to changes in the local and global environment in which we operate. Since then, we have made great strides in delivering on our strategic priorities as our results illustrate. None of this is possible without our people. And I want to thank every one of our employees for their hard work, dedication and resilience. I believe that the changing world around us makes us stronger, reinforcing our value proposition as a leading precious metals producer with a major role to play in enabling the transition to a low carbon global economy. It is only through maximising value for all our stakeholders that we can continue to reimagine mining to improve people's lives.